Well, I was gonna say, we're already through the first world and we haven't used any gratuitous language yet. <laughs> that was just for it, though. Okay, here's the next one, Stone Hill. It's rather large. But I always liked um, entering this one in the following manner. Let's just watch this. This is cool. This is always so cool to me. Whoa. Like, you don't even see that ram. You just charge into it. And, and it flies into the air. You don't even see it. And then all of a sudden it's on the ground. So I should let you know that I'm going to insist through the rest of this LP that uh, those gates are stargates that Spyro goes through. That's cool. Stargates. We're gonna pick all these up or we'll have to come all the way back. Oh, oh, oh. What? So, one thing that the later games do that I don't know if this one does is when you charge down a barrel or a chest that has a gem in it, watch the little fragments of wood that fly by. Do they smoke like you burned them? Because they do in the later games, even if you don't burn them, and that always bugs me. Uh, I don't know. I always like to play bowling with these. Like, you can only do it once, because after you pick these up, they're gone. But I'd always like to circle around and see how many I can hit in one go. Let's go. Oh, I missed a couple. Uh, next barrel we come across, we'll hit it and see if they flame. Interesting the this guy. This is Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're on an emulator right now, folks. So, yeah. we will save on the platforms here. Now that we went in that direction. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and swing through here. Oh, no. Oh yeah, these little things. I forgot to explain the last one. See how it looks kind of like Spyro's back or something? It's open. It's got a life. I also had a demo CD. I had the CD that had lots of demos and games on it. And um, the only level you could go to was, um, I think Sleepy Hollow. I don't know, whatever that place was called. Dark Hollow. <laughs> Dark Hollow, yeah. Dark Hollow, my bad. Yeah, oh, you can, charge, you can charge down that one. Ah, you flamed it. Ah. Oh, darn. I'm so sorry. There'll be more. And he looks like this is a nice guy. He's a music. This is Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamaze, Jigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Let me tell you a story. I love the old ones. They're my favorites, also. I knew this was here. <laughs> I was totally intentionally doing that. This room is too tight for me to do the whole bowling routine from here. It's not so much bowling as it is something oh. else. Oh, that, that's what I always thought of when I was a kid. Like a bowling ball trying to knock down all the pins, trying to knock down all the boxes. Except bowling balls don't usually go in circles and breathe fire. How do you know? Unless you're doing like hardcore extreme bowling. Oh, I was in this little hole. That's what she's in. Ooh. Oh, it's a dragon. Gavin. Gavin. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I love this game. This is great. You know my favorite teacher, like my history teacher in 8th grade, his name was Gavin. He was the, he was the funniest teacher I ever had. Okay, let's fly back up this little whirly thing here and send you up into the air. Whirly gig? Yeah. Cool. Whirlwind, I forgot what it was called. I don't think it has an official name. I don't know, um, one of the guys in um, one of the uh, Peacekeepers, the next world after this one, 
Uh, one of the dragons refers to... Charge that bot. You flamed it! Smoke. Yeah, smoke that like always bugs me. Look good. Oh, what? <laughs> See, that's me getting hit, and that sparks dragonfly. That was bad timing on my part. These guys are actually pretty easy to kill because they just kind of stand there. And how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. If you're familiar with all the games after this one, when you press the triangle button, you hover, you like jump up, just like a little inch, and back forward into the air. So if you're not going to make it, you can just like hover and make it. But in this game, when you press triangle, you just kind of fall like that, only farther. That's annoying. I would totally like fall everywhere by accident. Yeah, totally. Kind of blows. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going I'm to hover. Ah! You just fall into the water. Oh, these guys. They're, the first few are easy, but they get like super friggin' hard to do later. They're, they're the bane of your existence if you have played the third game. They hide like, they have dragon eggs, which you need, and they run away, and they're really fast, and then sometimes, when the game developers felt like being even more of a dick than usual, you had to do supercharge arenas. Which is like where you charge super fast. You oh, get a chase oh after them. God, super charges. There's one level in one of the later worlds. It's like nothing but super charges. It's total bull. There's one in the second game that's like a huge like you have to do a bunch of things uh, all while supercharging in order without messing up once to to get an orb, and it's just it's murder. I don't think I ever 100% any of these games because last time I played them, I was like a small child <laughs> and I never really cared all that much about 100%. Oh, there's a box. I I 100%ed uh, I 100%ed the third one because I have no life. I know, it's terrible. You can eight. always just have sparks pointed out to you. We're missing eight. Oh, I, I, oh, I see a sparkle way over there. Yeah, here they are. Well, there's three of them anyway. Uh. So you're missing five? Watch it, watch it be like one five gem. Throw us back up in the air. 
God, the innuendos I can make out of that statement. Suck us up, blow us. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Oh, That's just too dumb.